The University of Hawaii at Hilo is one of three UH system universities to once again make the U.S. News and World Report's Best Colleges Rankings list. UH Hilo ranked number 66 among best regional universities west, placing it in the top 47% of their respective category. The universities are ranked using factors like endowment size, rate of alumni giving, and student-to-faculty ratio. The U.S. News & World Report surveyed 1,600 colleges among more than 3,000 four-year institutions throughout the United States. Declining enrollment at UH Hilo has been a concern, especially for State Senator Kai Kahele, who chairs the Senate Higher Education Committee. It is a major challenge that we face is declining enrollments. And, and I don't think using the word hemorrhaging is an exaggeration. I think we are hemorrhaging in enrollment we need to plug the hole, we're not plugging the hole, and there's some things we can do, hopefully, to do that. The Hilo Senator detailed some ideas to improve student life on campus during this recent presentation before students and faculty. And I want to develop this, the Vulcan Village. In 1999, some hard-working people, um, I don't see him here, but Gerald DeMello is his name, amongst others, got Governor Ben Cayetano through executive order to transfer a 36-acre parcel to the University of Hawaii. And if you're not sure where this is, we are right here. Well, this is Kapilani Street, so we're like up here. Here's Alehale Alahonua. So we must be right here. This entire 36-acre parcel, this is hopefully what the Poinaco extension will one day look like, was through executive order transferred to UH to build a Vulcan village to build a China educational center for excellence, for retail and commercial purposes. And that was gonna be the benchmark of creating a college town that leveraged university assets. It would provide housing, restaurants, retail, commercial office space, and urgent care clinics. So when you, as a student, get sick, you can go someplace. And you don't have to get a cab or borrow a car if you don't have a car, you can walk there. It would have entertainment, coffee shops, and cafes. The chancellor, the previous chancellor tried to, right? The sign is over there. The sign's not up there now, but the posts are there. But they got no takers. We came very close in 2009 to having Chinese under Chancellor Rose saying Chinese developers from Taiwan developed this, but it never happened. So I want to know what are we going to do about it? You know, when are we going to develop this? Because for you students there, imagine if you had an amazing um, place you could go to right across from the Vulcan Athletics, and there was a Maybe not a Buffalo Wild Wings, but there was a place we could go. You could eat. You could watch sports. You could, in, you could in, enjoy, you know, you could, you could go somewhere um, that didn't require you to get a cab to go down to Cronies or, or, or to go some other place in, in Hilo. You could do it right here on campus. So this is the Vulcan Village. 